Hi and welcome back to part two of making the fireplace and log pass skip video. Let's keep going. I used a product called Plus 4 to do the grouting. If you're not familiar with it, it's a finishing plaster compound used when you install or repair drywall or jib. I smeared it on in sections and then started with dry paper towels followed by damp paper towels, carefully wiping it off the stones themselves. You want to leave it in between all the stones. It's a pretty messy process, but take your time with it to get the really good results. Once it was dry, I busted out the chalk pastels again, this time because I didn't want the grouting to look quite so pristine and white. Finally, it's time to glue on the mantelpiece. Our fireplace needs a fire, so to start off with, using the scrap of cellophane packaging, I painted on some red and yellow acrylic paint. This is going to be our flames later. I know it doesn't look much like fire, but just like me, you've got to have faith that it'll work out. Using some extra mini logs, I glued them together to make a firewood stack. 
I made sure to leave a gap at the bottom rear of the stack and up through the middle. At the same time, you want it looking still kind of randomly stacked. looks cute right now for that leap of faith I had no idea if I could make my vision come to life or not but here we go let's see if I can make the flames light up I had some LED fairy lights and threaded the last light on the end through the slot at the back of the fireplace next I had to turn the painted cellophane into flames so with a few snips with scissors and later on some sticky tape, I formed the cellophane flames into like a bullet shape, narrow enough to fit just inside the log stack. It took a little trial and error, but persistence paid off. Okay, let's take a peek and see if this looks right with the lights. Hmm, not bad, not bad. a few drops of glue to hold the flames in place and then I threaded the fairy light through the gaps in the firewood stack trying to get it just inside the flames. And here's the final reveal. I'm so happy with how it turned out and the fire looks so good. My next video will be out in two weeks. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.